Now let's move on to our final character and we're gonna draw a guy. Sam does men once again. There's a video, oh my God. You did, what? What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be once again yassifying your guys' characters. So I asked you guys to put your original characters into our Patreon Discord server for me to take a look at and for me to draw. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take a look through these characters, we're gonna get inspired by them, and then we're gonna yassify them. Should be a good time. Ooh, this is Mikey. That is so expressive. That's awesome. Great job with this. Wow. Here's my OC Aria. She's a fawn mage. I don't know what a fawn mage is, but I really like this big mushroom hat and the purple and green color scheme. That looks pretty good. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. The smoke effect here looks so good. Look at that. Wow. And really good use of soft and hard edges in the anatomy of this character too. That looks fantastic. Great job with this. So far so good guys. We're looking really good. Um, yeah, we were looking really good until now. I'm just kidding. This is Maisie's work. She's a mod for our, our Discord server and her character is blind but sees using this magic crystal ball. That's kind of cool too. And I like the white hair or like grayish hair. I like that. I like unconventional colors. Speaking of, oh my goodness, are you, hang on. Are you guys related? This is Merlin. She's a violinist by day and assassin by night. Oh, oh, ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Love the character sheet here. You've got different poses. You've got different expressions. That looks fantastic. She turns. Wow, look at that, good job. So much work went into this and I can definitely see the amount of effort you've put in. That's fantastic. I appreciate the effort, guys. I appreciate it. My goodness, this OC has a whole backstory. Okay, you guys can pause right here if you wanna read, but um, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but the character looks really good. I love the white and red color scheme for the hair and the green eyes contrasting that red. That looks great. There's a video, oh my God. You did, what? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, you know what guys? I think we have a winner. <laughs> what is this? There's no description, there's no name, there's there's no... <laughs> Ooh, this is Momo, made her for a game concept for a project in my university. That's really cool looking, really cool. I like the way the ears kind of flow downwards instead of going upwards. It kind of like creates this nice triangular shape for the head of the character and that's like really, really unique. Ooh. This is Claudia, she's a literal cloud. She's just swimming around in the clouds and spreading peace all over. You look in the sky and feel peace, chances are you looked at her. That's really wholesome, that's really cute. I love that. She's peaceful and she's angry and, oh wow, so she's really big. That's nice. All right guys, so now that we've taken a look at all these amazing characters, we have to pick a few for us to yassify. And first one up, we've got Claudia. I really like the idea and the design for this character. It's just so simple, but it's such a wholesome idea. And I think she could use some yassification here. You can see that she doesn't even have a mouth. The first thing I'm gonna start with is once again, a sketch. Now I'm gonna pull up some images of clouds over here just to have a reference for what her hair is supposed to look like because I want it to be semi-realistic and we'll just kind of sketch away. So while we're trying to lay down the foundation for this character, I'll just give you guys some tips, okay? When you're first starting out, you have to determine the angle of the head and a really good way to have a baseline for that is to sketch down your eye line. It's okay to use construction lines in your sketching phase, guys. It's gonna help you put your character's face in perspective. I'm gonna try to make it look like it's really fluffy and cloud-like and just kind of flowing from the top of her head and maybe draping downwards a bit. But the goal here is to have it look like a cloud. Beautiful. Okay, that is looking very good. Now I'm gonna to go towards the reds, give her a bit of a blush on the cheeks. I like doing the lips on my characters with an airbrush first, just to get it, you know, fading nicely into the rest of the skin. All right, now we're gonna go into the eyes, which is always fun. I think her eyes, yeah, they are a light blue color. Now remember that when you're drawing anything like lashes or eyebrows or hair, um, not to focus on every single strand of hair, you know, just hint at the idea. Make it look like there's a lot going on when there really isn't. So for example, like that, with some basic shapes, you can make it look like She's got long, voluptuous eyelashes. 
You see guys, sometimes very subtle changes to the placement of the features on your character's face can make a really big difference on their expression. For example, if I liquefy the eyebrows up a little bit too far and just move this corner down, look at that, oh my goodness. She's bipolar. I'm gonna finish up on the face of the character real quick and we can start adding some more detail to the clouds. So uh, some highlights here, you can see juicy lips, juicy nose, juicy eye corner, juicy nose ridge, just like that. Now, if you guys are wondering why there's blue in the shadow of a cloud, well, that's because of the ambient light in the environment. And the ambient light in this case is coming from the blue sky. So in direct sunlight, you're gonna see more of that bright kind of yellowish whitish color but in the shadow regions that are going to be lit by the ambient light in the sky you're going to see more of that blue and if you guys want to learn more about that i have a tutorial on my patreon for the month of january So there you guys go. There is a yassified version of our first character, Claudia. Really happy with how this one turned out. Let's see which character we can yassify next. All right guys, so for character number two, I'm gonna go with Arya. I really like that big mushroom hat and her big fluffy hair. I think she has an interesting color scheme that we can work with here. So I'm gonna reference these two angles that you see on the screen there. And once again, starting off with a sketch. Let's get this big triangular shape of that mushroom hat down. All right guys, so I'm almost done with the sketch, but um, I'm not sure if I wanna keep our eyes open or closed. It's a bit of a dilemma here. Okay, so that's the open one and that's the closed one. I think the open one is better. So let's get started with this big green mushroom hat. Now, if you guys want an easy way to apply some shadows really, really quickly, start a new layer, set as multiply, apply a clipping mask on it, and just use, oh, that's too dark, <laughs> oh boy. And just use a medium grayish color for your shadows. Look at that, instantly three-dimensional. There's some tips and tricks with Sam. She's looking really good so far, but you know, something's a little bit off about the eyes. I don't know what's going on. When in doubt, flip your canvas. Yeah, I think they're just, they're a little bit uneven here. So now that her face is looking pretty good, uh, just to finish this piece off, we're gonna add in the details for her costume. All right, guys, there we go. There's our second Yassified OC. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Now let's move on to our final character and we're gonna draw a guy. Sam does men once again. So with this one, I can tell that the original creator had so much passion for the story of this character and to the point where they made an animation. As always, starting off with a sketch, we're gonna try to do this character justice. And as always, before you go into the colors, make sure that you flip your canvas horizontally to spot any mistakes. There's no big mistakes here that I can see because I'm perfect. Now, when you're drawing characters, here's something else to think about, okay? If you really want a certain color to pop, let's say, for example, the red in this character, if you really want that color to pop, one way to do it would be to make all the other colors less saturated because the way a color looks to you is entirely dependent on its surroundings and what you're comparing it to. So if the entire character was very saturated, then that red, no matter how saturated you make it, will not stand out compared to the rest of the character. So 
So just flipping this horizontally, you know, making sure everything's in order. Look at that beautiful rim light. Oh my, that looks really good. I mean, that just brings them right out of the background and that's exactly what I was trying to do. So after drawing two happy female characters, here's our villain male character. And you know what? He sure is yassified. He is beautiful. So there we go, guys. There's three of your guys' OCs yassified let me know which one of these is your guys's favorites i think me personally i'm leaning towards the cloud oc but you know these two are cool too i really like the lighting in this one i don't know let me know guys which one do you guys like the best yeah i think it's this one for me she just brings me so much peace. And that does it for this episode of Yassifying Your Guys' OCs. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process. Hopefully you learned something new along the way. And if not, I hope you were thoroughly entertained. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if you want to see monthly process videos and tutorial videos, check out my Patreon down below. With all that being said, though, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Jesus Christ. These are sick. Guys. Oh my God. These are great. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have given uh, our mushroom character here a rim light. That's what was missing. Oh, wow. A missed opportunity here, huh? This is my favorite though. That's so, <laughs> God. Guys, I'm just saying, every time I do one of these videos, I don't expect them to turn out good, but they always exceed my own expectations.